St. Lanka and Sons Toys, and we've got another unboxing today. It's an older figure, but one that we did not have. Thank you, Matt, for sending it to us. We got Majin Boo, or Good Boo, whatever you want to call him. And on this side, it's just a regular. He's got his little name. On the back, we got some poses you can get him into. It's a ba big, big, big box. So, it's a little hard to see. And then you got some more pictures of him here on the side. So, let's get him out of the packaging. Alright, so we have Majin Buu out of the packaging, still in the clamshell. But here we've got the figure. He's very large. And he was in charge at one time. Very, very big package. Very, very big figure. He comes with two fist hands on in the package. He's got his sinister grin looking face right there. And we have an extra head uh, from our Super Boo packaging that we can put on him. And then we got up here his chocolate bar. We've got him making a silly face with his tongue stuck out. And then I guess that would be a neutral face for him. And then he's got two pointing hands and two gripping hands. And then, of course, we have his cape. Comes in three pieces to help with mobility and posability, I would say. So let's get him out of the package. Alright, so we got Majin Buu out of the packaging. And this is not the event exclusive, but he does have some paint and molded plastic. Got a little bit of shading, it looks like, on the pants here. And around his facial expression. And then, of course, they did his, his little dots that the Boo Majin characters are known for. I have not put his cape on yet. But as you can see right here, the three pieces will peg into the back. And let's go over some articulation. Starting with the head. Let's see. Just a little bitty ball peg right there. But it does what it needs to do. Looking up, pretty good. Looking down, not very far because he's a heavy character and the cape hinders some of it. But his head can move. Turn to each side. He just doesn't get a whole lot of range out of it. And with his arms right here, they go up better than 90. Oh, I don't think I... Nope, I didn't even have his head on just right. Let's see. Uh, let me see. I'm actually going to pop a different head on real quick. Let me put the, the sinister, angry-looking head on. And give me a second. I'm going to do this off camera so I don't knock my camera over. The boys are making a lot of noise in the background. So we got his little evil face, little sinister face on now. And, and elbows, not the nicest looking elbows at all. Um, but you do get a little bit better than 90. The uh, hands are on the ball peg. And for his leaning back, hardly any. Forward. You get a little bit, not a whole lot. Then he does have some swivel from side to side. You don't get a whole lot due to his pants and his belly, it seems like. Uh, I'm sure they updated this with the event exclusive, I would think. But uh, I'm happy to just have him. And in, in the first release, uh, <laughs> that right there is uh, amazing. And let's look at his legs. Kicks forward. <laughs> he, yeah, I thought the Doria was kind of weird, but <laughs> but they made it as accurate as they could to the anime. Um, his little his little uh, little legs. <laughs> the uh, kneecap looks horrible, but uh, I highly doubt you're gonna ever really pose him much like that, uh, based off the way he is. Um, legs moving out. He can do the splits for sure. Look at that. <laughs> does it look the greatest? No. But it does work. 
And then we have Toe Hinge, of course. Uh, they've gotten better at doing these, but it's nice to have as if, if you get them into some more dynamic posing, if you can. Oh, and let's do a quick uh, height me measurement. He is to the top of his head about seven inches and to the top of his antenna about seven and three quarters. So let's see if we can get Majin Buu to stand up. My my little display board keeps moving out. I'm getting up here in a sec. We'll, we'll put some uh, other figures in there with them. So there we go. So we got Boo up there. And for some scaling, there is Piccolo, CGI Goku. So you can see the, the scaling is, I would say, is pretty on point. Because he is a big character. And since we already have Android 16 out from doing our Jiren video, there's Android 16. So Majin Buu towers over them very well. Um, let's go ahead and get his cape. They come with little pegs right there. This looks like it is for this side. You can kind of tell by the way they flare. Let me get this in there. Do I have it on the right side? Yeah. There we go. Well, no, not quite. I guess let me do it off camera real quick. Alright, so we have Boo's cape on now. And yes, it comes in three pieces. They swivel a little bit. So you can kind of get some range out of them. Doesn't look bad at all. I like how they did the new cape with Turles. Hopefully they'll start giving us capes that are um, not technically fabric, but um, soft plastic. So yeah, he's a he's a cool looking figure. I really like him. Uh, is articulation and paint and everything perfect? No, it's not. But you have to think this figure is a little older. But he does look very good. And this is a closer up. Let me get it to focus. That is his happy face, I guess, or neutral face. And then we have his silly face right there. Looks really good. I think they do a, a really good job with all their stuff. Are they perfect? No, but they can. They've gotten a lot better, and they've really been knocking some out of the park. Then we have his candy bar right there. Probably pose him with the candy bar in the background of our uh, Kai World Planet display. Really nice details to it. And the... Get the camera to focus. Sorry about that, y'all. You can see the, the wrapper. It looks good. And we've got that there. And then, of course, he has his other hands. So, let me get him set up in the display with his candy bar and next to Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Alrighty. Well, we have our Majin Buu with his chocolate bar pointing at you. Down here next to Super Saiyan 3 Goku and CGI Vegeta until we get another Vegeta to go down here. So that is our second display for the Boo Saga. And then of course up here we got Super Boo and the only demonical fit figure we have, Majin Vegeta, Proud Prince. I'm hoping to swap him out with an authentic SH figure arts to go with Super Saiyan 2 Goku soon. But our Boo Saga is starting to fill out.
really happy to get this guy. Thanks again, Matt. And I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or anything, just let us know. And give us a like, subscribe, and follow. Check out our links below in the description. Have a great day, everyone. St. Lanka and Sons Toys, out.